Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today's going to be a little bit different in that I'm going to unbox this 3D printer and show you how to assemble it. So stay tuned and check it out. Alright, so unboxing this. So I ordered this on Amazon and it came pretty quickly. Although I was a little bit nervous opening this since there was some damage to the outside of the box. But after opening it up, I didn't notice any damage on the inside, so I proceeded to unbox it and unpackage all the parts. So here I'm just going through and taking out all the parts and items that came with this Ender 3 S1 Pro. Nothing crazy here. The only thing I'll mention is that some of the parts and pieces, and like the spatula for instance, are kind of hidden on the underside of some of the packaging. So just make sure when you're opening up yours and unboxing all the parts and pieces that you actually have them all. So flip over the, those pieces of packaging and just make sure you got all the parts out. And I just want to say this right off the bat that this is my first 3D printer. And the reason that I mention this is because I'm a huge fan of things that don't take too long to get up and running. I like to go from zero to one in the shortest amount of time as possible. And I feel that this Ender printer is the perfect example of that. Now I hear and somewhat understand the side that says it's good to put together all the bolts and pulleys for these printers um, because that way you really get to understand your machine and how it works, but I don't always agree with that. The reason I bought a 3D printer was to print awesome items, not necessarily to assemble the machine. With that being said, this 3D printer couldn't have been easier to assemble. Just a few bolts to attach the gantry to the bed, assemble the filament spool and holder, and plug in a few wires and this thing was ready to go. So let me show you. So the first thing is to attach the gantry to the base of the printer. Now I know the instructions that come with the printer say to attach the nozzle assembly to the gantry first, but I found that this step was easier to do once the gantry was attached to the base. The bolts to use are the M4 by 45 bolts and I found it easiest to slide the edge of the base just off the side of the table that I was working at so I could install the bolts from the underside rather than tipping this whole assembly on its side trying to hold all the pieces together and then assembling the bolts that way. And Ender supplies all the bolts and tools required to assemble these printers so it's really nice. In total there are four bolts to attach the gantry to the base, two on each side. Install all four bolts to a snug fit first before tightening them down completely. Next I attach the nozzle assembly to the x-axis. This just hooks onto the pre-installed bracket and then gets secured in place with four bolts that are provided. And these are the M3 by 6 bolts. Then I turn the machine around and install the wire clip on the back of the x-axis motor. The Ender 3 S1 Pro comes with a touchscreen display that mounts on the right side of the printer. To attach this, just line up the grooves on the screen with the cutouts in the base and install the three bolts. Next, I assembled the filament roller. This came with a filament detector already installed, so all I had to do was twist the roller onto the bracket and then attach it to the x-axis by clipping it on the front side first and then pivoting it towards the back until it clipped into place. Make sure to locate this assembly close enough to the wire that needs to plug into the filament detector. Then I took the flat bundle of wires and hooked it into the slip on the back of the x-axis. This is the clip that we installed earlier. And it's nice because it has a tag on it to show you exactly where to line it up. And while I was over there, I plugged in the two cables to the x-axis motor. Then I plugged the end of the flat bundle into the back of the printer nozzle assembly. Simply push this down into place and the two finger things will kind of lock it in place. Next I plugged in a few wires on the back side of the printer and this was pretty straightforward. Before plugging this into the wall it's important you have it set to the correct voltage. Now where I live we run on 120 voltage so I peeled back this little sticker on the back and made sure that that switch was set to 120 voltage before plugging it in. Then I plugged the power cord into the back of the printer and then the opposite end into the wall outlet and could fire this printer up. The first thing I did was make sure that this bed was level. I did this first by doing the auxiliary leveling which basically is going to each of the corners and then the center and adjusting the bed leveling springs so that the nozzle tip is about a paper width away from the bed. Once I had that dialed in, I ran the auto leveler, which basically creates a bed mesh that the printer remembers and can compensate during prints if you don't have the bed completely level. 
I know enough to get me by this step, but if you want to see the video that I referenced to set up my bed and level it all, I'll leave a link to that in the upper right hand corner of this video. And once the bed was level, I could run some test prints. Actually, one more thing to get started, I need to install some filament. And that's pretty straightforward. Just take your filament, feed it through the filament detector, and then pull back on this little lever on the printer nozzle assembly and stick the filament in there until it bottoms out. The SD card that comes with the Ender 3 S1 Pro has a few different files that you can test out right away. Then go to settings, you're going to want to preheat the nozzle and the bed, so go up to the top right, it says manual, hit preheat PLA, which I believe is the filament that they provide for you, and it's going to preheat, then you can go to the next tab over, you can find your file, and then hit play. So that's pretty much all there is to getting up and running with this Ender 3 S1 Pro. And if any of you guys are interested in purchasing the same printer, I'll leave a link to it in the description box below, so check that out. I'm super excited to really dive into this world of 3D printing and hopefully start to incorporate it into some of my other project videos. So if you're interested in following me along on this journey, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. And if you liked this video or if it was helpful in any way, it'd be awesome if you could hit that like button down below as well. That just tells YouTube that this was a decent video and that maybe it should pass it on to some other people to watch. And until next time, thanks for watching.